Have you ever asked yourself what is racism? Do you know what does it implies to discriminate someone because of his or her skin color? Have you thought about the impact it has to the world? You may have never thought about it because you may have never passed through a situation where someone was rude to you due to your skin color. But imagine, what are we trying to teach to our little ones? That you are more important than someone because of your skin tone? Or maybe that there is right and wrong skin color? The world is changing at a fast pace and our mentality has to change as well. It's not about black proudness anymore or the white greatness or the yellow superiority or whatever. It's the time to look beyond that. Vomara Rebello, Miss Angola 2012, invites you to change your conscience. Unfortunately, even in the 21st century, racism still exists. Some people still treat others according to the color of their skin, said Valmara Rebello when she decided to fight the racial discrimination in Angola. According to Valmara, uh, many people claim they don't discriminate by skin color anymore, but their subconscious still do. And during a meeting, Vomara decided that we should tease the people and send a message to something different. And that's what it all started. Angola has some brave ambulance vendors in the streets who sell their products around the city. Usually with some type of basket or bucket in their head, under the sun, trying to make their lives. And they are known as Zungeiras. The thing about Zungeiras is that probably 98% of them in Angola have a dark skin tone, so people are not used to see the contrary. We heard Vomara's idea and we took two volunteers with us, Jacqueline Botelho and Sandra Bandera. This mission consisted in dressing up Jacqueline Botelho as a Zungera and pretend Sandra was her customer. We flipped the sides of the coin to test people's reaction. And here is what we got. You know, we took Jacqueline and Sandra with a hidden camera around the streets and the result was just quite surprising. We had a lot of people looking, but a lot of people even stopped their cars just to look. You know, they were trying to figure out what was going on because they're not used to see uh, someone with that skin color tone you know in that position in that profession if I can say that and uh, take a look at how this man looks at her you know his look is not because she's attractive or, or something because when he passed he was like no way she can't be she can't be real you know take a look on how he looks at her you know he was so surprised just because of her skin color and just as Vomara said sometimes it's not about um, us being like consciously racist you know sometimes it's something that already lives in our subconscious and that's what makes everything worse After that, our mission was completed for the day. 
our team stored all the pictures and videos we could get from our adventure and wait for the next Vomaris command. And it was sooner than we thought. Eu sou Jacqueline Benz Botelho e decidi entrar por esta, esta causa porque acredito que devemos desenvolver mais a, a contra a discriminação racial que há em Angola e também, apesar de nunca ter sofrido gran, uma grande escala, mas já, já sofri um pouco. Uma vez no Brasil fui, fomos de férias, eu e a minha família. E como a minha mãe é negra e o meu pai é branco, as pessoas olhavam-nos mal, até às vezes reagiam-se mal uh, quando falássemos com eles, devido à a, a diversidade. Como foi a minha experiência? Ok. Um, foi divertida, ri-me bastante, até, olha, até, olha, não vou mentir, houve lá uns tantos piscas de olhos, poderia até ir para este ramo também, se eu quisesse. Acredito que iria dar-me bem. <risos> foi divertida. <risos> Decidi participar nesta causa porque eu acho que é um assunto muito interessante. Infelizmente, um, cá, é, cá no nosso país, às vezes pessoas né, estão de pele mais claro sofrem um bocadinho de racismo e como podemos observar, uh, tivemos a experiência né, de termos posto a Jacqueline como uma vendedora ambulante e, no entanto, foram milhares de olhares, uh, sorrisos, uh, caras de espanto, enfim, houve tudo um pouco e eu achei uma coisa muito interessante porque eu acho que esse projeto vai ajudar as pessoas a abrirem um bocadinho mais a sua mente e a poderem encarar as coisas com mais naturalidade. E ri bastante também, uh, gostei do meu papel como, como compradora, né? como cliente. E, enfim, espero que as pessoas contribuam, contribuam mais e que passem a ver um, tom de pele como uma coisa super normal, não, uh, ou seja, não importa o tom de pele porque por dentro somos todos iguais. Tchau! Valmari is the type of person that was made to make a change, to make a difference. <laughs> I don't know if she dreams with stuff at night, but if she wakes up decided to make something happen, trust me, it will happen sooner or later, and I think that's funny about her. So the next day was really epic because she had everything already sketched out and we just had to follow the script. We went to the streets, we took the photographer with us, we took um, some volunteers with us and we took a member of a famous group which is Kali Brothers. Um, he's Kadaf and he was really willing to help and that was really interesting because we took the message to the streets you know no makeup we just went to the streets we just took whatever we, we wanted to say and we actually had some precious feedback that was awesome <laughs> Obrigado, fica bem. We are aware that this is such a sensitive topic and it's so complex that you can't just change people's mind from one day to another. We are sure that everything we're doing 
may be at least the beginning of a fight that will end in victory. May our little brothers and little sisters, sons and daughters, grow up in a world with equality. In a world where it doesn't matter what your skin color is, but who you are inside. Hey yo, what up? I'm so Muka Das. Hello, Sasha. I'm Mara. We are from Contra Racismo. We are from the Intellectual. Racismo is a good thing. Hello, Fatia Mota.